To sell successfully, you need a sales strategy and a plan of action to help you succeed. As salespeople, we need to redouble our efforts when times are hard. See more customers, give better service and try to stay confident. This means working harder and smarter so that you get your share of the business that is still out there. Remember, 95% of salespeople don't have a plan and the key to successful selling is confidence and planning. Begin by defining your job purpose. Write down the purpose of your job in two sentences. This is really important. It helps you decide, as you go through your working day whether the next thing you are about to do is moving you nearer to achieving your job purpose or not. Don't forget to set yourself objectives. These should be short, medium and long term. Make sure to write them down. Write yourself a sales plan. This empowers salespeople to prioritize tasks, set clear objectives and effectively manage their time. Understand the importance of opportunity cost. Prioritize high-value tasks such as lead generation, nurturing warm leads through the sales funnel, preparing proposals, and following up on hot opportunities. Do it now. Rather than spending our lives shuffling paper and reading emails. If it can be done quickly, just do it. This particularly applies to the jobs people avoid like planning and prospecting. Understand the Pareto Principle 80% of our effective work tends to be done in 20% of our time, and most salespeople spend only 20% of their time in productive selling situations. Our aim must be to increase the time we spend productively selling our products to the right prospects. Prioritize tasks In time management terms, we rank different tasks in terms of their urgency and their importance. Learn to say no. Struggling to say no? You're probably spending too much time on tasks that don't help your goals. Learning to decline non-essentials is crucial for boosting productivity in sales. Start work earlier. Modern buyers don't work 9 to 5. A sizable proportion of buyers are willing to meet with salespeople and accept telephone calls between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Most salespeople try to contact buyers between 10.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Be different. Try to fit in an extra appointment each day and you will be amazed at the results. Do more prospecting. Set yourself a prospecting target for each week and stick to it. Most successful salespeople prospect for one-fifth of their week. In the long term it will give you a regular supply of new business. Don't forget to build time into your schedule to develop your sales skills. Remember the old saying, the harder I practice the luckier I get. It was Thomas Jefferson who quoted, I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work the more I have of it. Work on developing your sales skills and make the most of training opportunities. Combine tasks. Grouping tasks together makes for greater efficiency. This applies particularly to prospecting, planning and telephoning activities. Don't hop from task to task. Use technology such as AI, apps and add-ons to technology you already have to help improve efficiency in meetings, prospecting, writing proposals or social content, follow-up tasks and sales planning. Use the internet for sales planning. Utilize the internet for sales planning. It offers instant access to valuable data and tools, empowering informed decision-making for sales success. All the information you will ever need is out there. Put together administration systems. Utilize online apps and tools to establish efficient administration systems, leveraging its resources to streamline processes and enhance organizational effectiveness. Ask yourself, is the appointment worth it? Some salespeople dedicate a whole day to visit just one customer. But consider this, would you deem this a wise use of your time if it were your business or money on the line? Communication via phone, online meetings and email is often sufficient. Reflect on opportunity cost, what else could you have accomplished if you hadn't spent the day in the car? Stay in regular contact with existing customers. 
Maintaining regular contact with existing customers is key for securing future sales. The easiest and fastest sales are from existing clients. Neglecting this can result in losing them due to feeling neglected. Use a variety of methods to keep in touch and keep them informed about new products and special offers. Unrealistic deadlines and unnecessary projects. When faced with unrealistic deadlines or unnecessary projects, effective time managers assertively manage their managers. Without negativity or obstruction, emphasize your job purpose and the impact on sales of altering your plan schedule. Build thinking time into your plan. While we all agree planning is important, so is reviewing progress and amending your strategy. Take time out for this activity. Plan it into your diary and involve your manager. And lastly, spend time with friends and family. Taking care of your health and relationships is crucial. While work is important, it's just one aspect of your life. Prioritizing your well-being and nurturing relationships can actually enhance your effectiveness at work.